Good morning. Welcome to Avon Christian Church. Whether you are online worshiping um, or in person, um, we invite you to fill out a connection card. Um, if you're joining us in person and put it in the offering plate. Um, if you're attending virtually, please fill out a digital card. Um, if you'd like to give, um, you can place your gift in the offering plate at the door um, before or after service. Um, or give digitally through Give, um, Givelify app. Um, we're very grateful for your presence here today in worship, whether you're attending online or, um, or in person. This afternoon at 3.30 at Hendricks County Fairgrounds, um, Avon Christian Church has a team, a very enthusiastic team, participating in the Chopped Cooking Challenge. Um, this is to... Woohoo! Yes! This is to benefit Family Promise um, and the Hendricks County Food Pantry Coalition. So please go out and cheer on Allie, Kelly, Dorafe, and Danielle. Audience members who are present can donate um, and create advantages or can donate and create disadvantages for the other teams. Um, it's that time of year again. Believe it or not, in a couple weeks, the kiddos go back to school. Um, and our school drive is, um, our school supply drive is, is ongoing and, and underway. However, we've really only got a week left. So if you're going to um, participate, um, all donations need to be dropped off in the bins. On your way out, you'll see what looks like a trash can, and then there's also a bag with some stuff beside it. Um, so if you can, please bring your donations by next Sunday. Um, I think by the 27th, they go to the schools. So, um, boy, the time is flying this summer. You may, if you uh, ha didn't participate this week, uh, although many of us did, you may notice that there's a quite a bit of tie-dye in the room today. We had an amazing vacation Bible school this week. Right? Woo! With 45 kids and over 30 adults participating. And our kids are very excited to be here today and share everything they learned with you. Um, and so they'll be leading most of today's worship. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for our church and all the children and adults who came together this week to learn more about and your about love. We are grateful that your kingdom is like abandoned orchard and a place where faith grows and hungry people are fed. Amen.
God, help us to help others in your name. Help us be your hands and feet in the world. Take these gifts and like fishes and loaves, multiply them for your kingdom. Amen. He entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see Jesus, but on account of the cord, he could not because he was short and saddened. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to Welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He has gone to be the guest who, of one who is a sinner. Zac Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay them back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has came, come to this house, because he too is the son of Abraham, for the son of man came to Seek out to save the Lord lost.
right there. Good job. Turn around so you can see. Once a year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem, the holy city of God, to celebrate the feast of the Passover, to remind them of the time that God brought them through the waters to free them. This year, Jesus was passing through the city of Jericho. Crowds of people wanted to see him. Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector. People didn't like Zacchaeus. He took too much of their money, so he was very rich. But he wanted to see Jesus too. But he was too short. And the people wouldn't let him through. So... He climbed the sycamore tree. And as Jesus passed, he looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, come down, for I want to stay with you today. And Zacchaeus was so happy that he just had to come down. But the people were angry. They said, why is Jesus staying with Zacchaeus? He's a tax collector. He takes money that isn't his. Zacchaeus said to Jesus, if I will give half of everything I have to the poor, and if I have taken any money that isn't mine, I will give it back and four times more. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, today you are saved. You are right with God, and you are right with people. I, the Son of God, have come to find and to save all who are lost. Now I wonder what it is like to be so short that you can't see what you want to see. And anybody can answer. What's it like to be so short that you can't see what you want to see? Cora? Upsetting? Annoying and frustrating. sad and frustrating. I wonder how Zacchaeus felt when Jesus called him by name. Excited. Shocked. What do you think? What do you think? Scared? 
excited. Yeah. I wonder how you would feel if you heard Jesus call your name. Cora? <laughs> Super duper uber excited. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder what Jesus and Zacchaeus said as they walked together. I wonder what you and Jesus would talk about if you walked together. I wonder if it was hard for Zacchaeus to give back what didn't belong to him. I wonder how it felt when he gave half of his things to the poor. I wonder how the poor felt. I wonder how Zacchaeus felt when he was right with God and right with people. And I wonder what Jesus meant when he said he came to find the lost. Thank you for today. Thank you for everyone who worked hard to make VBS special. Thank you for the food we eat and the farmers that grow it. Please bless us to bless. Please bless us to bless those who do not have enough. Let us pray the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. about all of this stuff. I forgot I had a part. <laughs> I was just like so engrossed in the whole service. Thank you guys so much. You've done such a wonderful job today. These kids have learned so much. 
these kids have learned so much this week, and uh, I got to teach the Bible story along with Tom and Mary and Otto, and honestly, I feel like they teach you just as much as you teach them, especially in some of their their answers to some of our questions from the very littlest uh, three-year-old who, for whom their neighbor is mommy and daddy and maybe my little brother or sister um, to our oldest kids who are in school and having to think about what their faith means like uh, out in the world and just so, so grateful for all the volunteers and everybody and I have to say this is a great church to be a part of and this was just a wonderful testimony of that this week. So uh, at this time, we offer an invitation uh, to partner with Avon Christian Church on our faith journey. As you can see, we've got a place for you, whether you are this this big or even littler, uh, or if you're 99, there's a, there's a place for you at Avon Christian Church. And so I invite you, um, if you are feeling led to partner with us and join with us, or you are uh, looking to take that first step of faith and discuss um, the possibility of baptism, I will be here to receive you as we stand and sing, our com- or sit and sing our communion song. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after the remembrance of supper, saying, This is the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink in the remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the the Lord's death until he comes. God, every time we gather around the table, you are here. Whether it is around a campfire with Jesus' disciples for breakfast, at the table of a tax collector for lunch, in the home of good friends for dinner, 
with unexpected guests for a midnight snack or at a party where everyone is invited. God, you are here. You love Well, together we take the bread and cup, and remember, we are one body of Christ. All right, where are my grapes and my strawberries and my broccoli and my corn? Come on down, guys. Last song.
Amen. Well, I'm hijacking the service just a little bit because, as many of you probably saw, Kurt's birthday was this week. <laughs> and I want to give honor. Yes, I'm showing favoritism. <laughs> I want to give honor where honor is due, and I so appreciate everything he continues to do for us over and over and over. And so I want to celebrate his, uh, his 25th birthday. <laughs> by singing, and unfortunately, he will have to play Happy Birthday himself if he doesn't want an acapella. But I want you to join me in singing Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Kurt. Happy Birthday to you. And we, we do have a little gift for you, so hopefully I will remember to give it to you. Uh, is there another mic? Doctors and nurses and therapists in the house, so I'm all good if I had fallen. I also want to call up the Baker Marshall family. Baker Marshall family. Um, I'm sure most of you know, but maybe a few of you don't. <laughs> Didn't think this was going to happen. <laughs> they are leaving us. They are moving on. Um, and we know that leaving is a part of life. We know that well. And so I just wanted to send them off. We wanted to send them off with a blessing. So if you would, please join me in prayer. Merciful and giving God, we thank you for the gift of this family that you gave us. They were with us for a while, and they did so much with us and for us and for your kingdom and your mission. And so we just give thanks. We have hearts of gratitude for all that they have meant to us, the love that they've shown, the work that they've done, for Alden being such a blessing and being able to see him grow up to who he is now. And so, God, for that, we say thank you. God, we know that you have other things for them and other people for them to bless. And so we say thank you. Today, we send them off with your blessing, asking that you will continue to provide for them, that your abundance would be wherever they are, that your love and your comfort and peace would be around them. God, that people would surround them who love them as they are worth. So, God, we send them with your power. We send them with your protection. We send them with your love. And we just want them to know how much we love them and will never, ever, ever forget them for who they are and for all that they have meant to this congregation. So God, we send them in your protection and we ask that you would give them everything they need, that you would meet every need and every desire that is in their hearts, God. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift of this family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thing. <laughs> While I'm hijacking, sorry, I have to stand at my place. Um, I want to thank everyone who was involved um, in any kind of capacity. We had our core group, we had new volunteers, we have our pinch hitters who just come and do when we ask. And so I want anyone who was here 
including parents and children who made this week special to please stand and let's give them all a round of applause. So thank you children, thank you parents, thank you workers. You all were a blessing and I do not take it lightly. So thank you, thank you, thank you until next year. May you always know just how much God loves you. May you welcome others as Christ has welcomed you. May you go in peace to love your neighbor and serve God always. In Jesus' name, amen.